ever found yourself marveling at the beautiful bloom of flowers? The spectacle of blooming flowers is indeed breathtaking, yet it's not as straightforward as it appears. Behind the scenes of this natural marvel lies a complex process. It's not just about petals unfurling, it's about a unique structure that orchestrates the entire show. This structure, often overlooked, is known as inflorescence. It plays a pivotal role in the blooming process. So, what exactly is this mysterious inflorescence we're talking about? Inflorescence, in the simplest terms, is the arrangement of flowers on a plant. It's a fascinating world where nothing is left to chance. Each flower, each bud, each leaf has a place, a role, a purpose. It's like a botanical symphony where every note matters and every instrument plays a part. Now, you might think flowers just pop up randomly on plants, but that's far from the truth. The reality is, nature loves order. Inflorescence is a systematic and organized arrangement, a pattern, if you will, that determines where and how flowers bloom on a plant. There are several types of inflorescence, each with its own unique arrangement pattern. Let's take a few examples. A rasmi, for instance, is a type of inflorescence where flowers are arranged along a central stem, blooming from the bottom up. A spike, on the other hand, has flowers directly attached to the stem without individual stalks. Then we have the korim, where the flower stalks start at different points but reach the same height, giving the impression of a flat, rounded flower cluster. An umbel has flowers all stemming from a single point, like an umbrella, while a capitulum gives us a dense cluster of flowers that look like a single flower, like in sunflowers. Each type of inflorescence corresponds to a different arrangement pattern, contributing to the diverse beauty we see in nature. So, inflorescence is what gives each plant its unique floral arrangement. But why does it matter? Inflorescence isn't just about aesthetics. It has a crucial role in a plant's life. Now let's dive a bit deeper. You see, inflorescence plays a key role in pollination. These clusters of flowers are like a botanical billboard advertising to pollinators, bees, butterflies, even birds, that a feast awaits them. But here's the interesting part. Different inflorescences attract different pollinators. For instance, a spike inflorescence might be a preferred pit stop for a bee, while a butterfly may favor an umbel. And why is this so important? Well, it's simple. By attracting a variety of pollinators, a plant significantly boosts its chances for reproduction. This, in turn, ensures the survival of the plant species. So next time, when you admire a blooming flower, remember, there's more to it than meets the eye. It's a beautiful result of nature's intricate design called inflorescence.